Hey everyone, Vincent here from creativevegip.net and today's video tutorial, well not even a video tutorial, this is more of a basic video because the video is going to be so short and simple. But today in this video I just want to address some of the common questions and issues I get asked quite frequently whether it's on Creative Digital, Facebook, YouTube, or via email. But people are having trouble with the text alignment and the timeline format. Now, I don't understand why people are having problems with the uh, text alignment, but I have no problem showing you guys what to do. So let's hop into After Effects here and take a look at the first issue that people are having, and that is text alignment. So people are saying that when they create a new text layer, layer new text, um, people are having trouble with the alignment. So if I just type in my text, as you can see, things are not centered up, everything is to the left, everything is left aligned. And then people would have to manually, you know, just center the text up like this and turn on the title save. And then fix the anchor point. Get the little tool right here, put in the middle. And then they will just uh, move the text along and then just scale it up. Move it to the left and there you go. The text is not centered anymore. The anchor point's not in the center anymore. And this is a huge debacle. And people were having huge issues with it and I understand why. So I'm just going to turn off the title safe real quick. People who already know what to do are probably laughing in their chairs right now. But this is actually a very simple solution. And once you see how simple it is, you guys are probably going to shoot yourself in the foot. So I'm just going to delete this text layer and just start over fresh. Let's create a new text layer once again. Layer, new text. And then we're going to type in our text. And everything gets left in line as planned. So if you want to center this up very quickly and efficiently, there's a simple little button down here in the paragraphs panel called center text. And if you click it, it's going to center align the text, just like your basic uh, text editor online or in Microsoft Words, et cetera. Um, yeah, so you just click the center align text right here and it's going to center your text up. So as you can see, our anchor point is in the middle of the frame or the middle of the text like planned. And then if you move it around and just scale it, the anchor point is still in the center of your screen. So pretty neat, but very easy solution to your problems. If you just want to center up text, that's how you do it. And if you don't see the paragraph panel, simply go down to the window up here and then make sure that the paragraphs panel is checked and on. Now, another frequent issue is the timeline format. So if you're coming from a 3d application, you're probably used to seeing things with frames. And if you're coming from a video editor, you're probably used to seeing things in seconds or minutes or time code. And it's an easy solution how to fix this in After Effects. So right now we're in time code right now. And if you want to see your timeline via frames, simply just hold control or command on the keyboard and click on the time, current time right here. And it's going to convert your timeline to current frame. As you can see, these are the number of the frames. So if you're used to seeing things in frames, this is the format for you. Now, if you're stuck in current frame mode and you want to see things time code wise from a video editor standpoint, just hold down control command once again, just click on the current time until you get the time right here. One second, two seconds, three seconds, etc. And I like this format better because I come from a video editor uh, originally. And if you just zoom in a little bit, you can kind of start seeing the frames as well. So you have the time code and the frame or basic frame, like 15 frames right here, just half a second because it's 30 frames a second. So you kind of get the best of both worlds by seeing the basic frame increments as well as the uh, time code. So pretty interesting uh, tutorial right here really basic so I don't know if these tutorials help at all but they're just very common issues that I get asked a lot so if you guys want to see more of these kind of tutorials leave them down below leave your comments down below and suggestions down below on Creative Dojo thanks for watching guys it's a very basic tutorial I'm Vincent Wynn from creativedojo.net and I'll see you guys next time in the next tutorial thanks for watching guys